Hi everyone, I'm Silwolf and a few of my friends asked me to do this. Um, the website Timu is fast uh, growing in popularity. It is a Chinese website similar to Wish where you can buy lots of things for cheap. And uh, it's got quite good, you know, reviews and things like that. People post reviews of the items they've got and they've taken photos of them and they tend to be what you see in the photo from what I've seen. So I thought I would make an order from Timu because at the end of the day it's useful to have somewhere where you can get cheap things for like gifts and stuff for your friends. You know, for Christmas and stuff. It just makes sense. So I ordered four things and then I ended up ordering four more things a couple of days later because I noticed they had some stickers that I've been looking for for ages and they happened to have them on their site. So we will go with the package that I ordered first of all, which is that one. A few of my friends have ordered from Timu and they say that the stuff's sometimes smaller than what you would expect but the quality seems to be good for the most part. So let's see what we've got in this package, it's like Christmas. So these are the things I ordered. I ordered some plastic wallets for paper and stuff. Um, so this is what, they come in four different colours and I chose to get the five instead of the ten. This is what they are like. They're a bit crumpled. Take them out of the bag and find where to open the bag. Properly sealed up. Oh no, there we go. So I'll take one of them out and show you guys the quality. So it's a bit crumpled, but it will straighten out. It's a plastic wallet for storing pictures and whatnot in. It has a zip at the top, which, there we go. Once you've got it started, it's quite easy. And I just thought it would be useful for storing not just pictures, but also, um, you know, paper and what have you, receipts and things, just for organisational skills. Um, and there's a lot of organisational things on the website as well, which is quite useful. Things to store stuff in and stuff like that. So um, that's why I chose to get these. And I will say they are bigger than I thought they would be. I thought they would be kind of like half the size of this. Size of this. But it's A4 size, so that's quite useful for storing proper sheets of paper in if you wish. Okay, so let's see what else. Next thing is this little, uh, it's like a pen tidy. Um, so it's got a nice slot there where you can put your pens and pencils and it's got a little door in the front where you can store things like what they uh, had on as an example was washi tape but anything small like paper clips or whatever um, and it's also got stickers that you can stick on it they provide it with stickers you can stick your own stickers on it or you can stick the ones that they provided on it so let's have a look at this um, so you see here it's got a little bit of dirt on the side there and also a little bit of dirt on there which isn't very nice um, it must have got dropped I mean it's white you can just wipe it off but it must have got dropped in the factory or something and it's just got dirty and they put it in the bag with the dirt on again like I said you can wipe it off but you don't expect to find um, items delivered to you that you have bought brand new that are dirty so a little bit disappointing I mean for me I always make the best of a bad situation and I'll just wash it off but not everyone would be happy receiving something like that. Um, the door's quite good, the hinges on it, they're not floppy or anything like that, it's kind of stiff and stays open and it's got a shelf inside as well. This also does up with a magnet on the front as you can see there, uh, which is quite good, that's quite nice in the way of quality there. And the stickers are all cute, they have a little bear and a bunny and various other bits and pieces. Um, some stuff in, some, in Chinese there as well which you can stick on it if you wish and they appear to be vinyl stickers and the back of it ap appears to be transparent I put it up close there it is indeed transparent on the back so it's nice that they've provided plastic stickers I find that paper ones don't last as long and if this is going to be standing around on my desk with things in it then um, it's probably better that they provided those sorts of stickers um, like I said our it's actually a small crack there as well on that which again eh, cost me about two pounds something but you don't expect to find things that are broken so I've no doubt mine got dropped 
on the factory floor and dirty and it got a, a crack. I don't personally care because it doesn't affect the use of it but some people would not be happy about receiving that. So a little bit disappointing in that respect. Um, got some stickers. I chose these stickers as 150 I think in here and they're all uh, bluey, you know the character. Now I bought some of these stickers from Wish and some of them were actually other people's artwork and not official. So you've got this picture here which is the Terriers from the series and that isn't official artwork. I wouldn't have said. I mean it could be but I don't know. I'm not sure. This one here, that's official artwork. Um, so let's have a look. This one here is Snickers and again that's someone's artwork or they might they may have just literally done it and and allowed people to print it on stickers but yeah with these Chinese sites you often end up with stickers that are not official artwork and are people's artwork that they have not been uh, given permission to use um, there's a lot here so I'm not going to go through all of them again that's not an actual you know when I wanted bluey stickers I wanted bluey stickers that were official from the series you know actual pictures from the series not things that people are drawn like that it's a lovely picture but I wanted something like you know that was a picture sort of like this for example um, that one looks like it's taken from the series and there's another one here again you know who drew that did they give permission to have it printed in stickers I knew I'd get some like this anyway but I just wanted some more bluey stickers and they do put a, a mix of the sort of official pictures in among the artwork pictures that other people have drawn and the last thing in the first set of uh, Timu items that I bought were these little cat figures and I can't remember his name now but he's from one of the I think he's from um, Kiki's Delivery Service. So, you get six of these little um, cat figures. So, let's get this one out. This one's come with a little stand to put them on. So, we'll just open them up. I won't go through all of these because it will just make the video too long. But let's have a look at the quality of these little figures. So, yeah, the, the printing on it, the paint is quite good. Um, it is painted quite well. He's got pegs in a couple of his paws to hold him on his stand. We can work out how to put him on. And how well does he stand on it? Yeah, he fits quite well on his stand. So I'd say that the quality of these is pretty decent to be fair and they had some of these in a shop downtown but every time I go to buy one they don't have any available so I thought oh well you know I'll get some from Timu and see what they're like so yeah I think that the quality of these ones are quite good and they're all different as well so you've got um you've got him with that face for example and then you've got another one where he's all bushed up his tail's all bushed up because he's been frightened and and one of him looking very unimpressed in in that uh, sitting position there. Um, so yeah, they're all each one's different as well, which is nice. Right, let's open the second one. Now the second one, I got more stickers, and just open it up here. This is the stuff I got in the second package. Open it around. Look at that. So pencil case and this is really for, uh, to store my um, cables and things in because they're getting in the way a bit um, and this one comes in a little ziplock bag which is nice you can open it up the pictures that I saw and it comes in different colours as well the pictures that I saw of this one on the um, on the reviews are pretty good so it seems to be exactly what it is in the photo so let's open it up 
and it's actually oh it's, it's got like um wire going through it to give it stability so that's quite neat it's like kind of like a handbag it's got pockets inside as you can see plenty of capacity as well which is nice it's really for storing pens and pencils but you can put anything in it and then it's got a pocket at the front here and that's got places for pens and pencils uh the only thing that i would say is not quite as good as this is it's sort of separate but it's not quite separate as you can see it's got um this little bit here which kind of separates the two the main one and the side one but it'll be good for putting my wires in which is what i got it for because i use my charging cables quite a lot but at the same time they're kind of like all over the place so that's why i bought it so it'll it'll do the job um more stickers i'm not going to get all of these out they're paw prints and they're just paw prints with different patterns on them and that's what i've been looking for from other places but it's really hard to get paw print stickers that aren't like vinyl car decals and stuff like that so i got them i got this one as well and i'm glad it arrived today because i'm going to london tomorrow so we're going to hyper japan festival although this video is going to get released way after that so this is a travel cable organizer and they come in different colors as well and it says zippered mesh bag for memory card elastic mesh bag can hold flash drive earphone etc elastic band for fixed power bank or other items outside custom logo de detachable handle waterproof fabric and it tells you what colors it comes in and things as well so this one again it's a nice quality item it's sturdy and you can see it's got various places that you can put your cables and i'm going to use this for traveling to put my iphone charger and stuff um i don't think i'll be able to get a plug in there which is a little bit annoying people do have um usb sockets now but i always take a plug with me because it's just you know it's useful not everyone has usb sockets they're not that um common yet but it will still be good for my cables and i can just pop the plug in next to it or something like that so yes i'm happy with that and finally i didn't really know what else to add to the because you have to make the item the uh, order um, items equal over 10 pounds and i didn't know what else to put on it so i got sausage dog stickers and let's have a look at some of these because the paw prints are just paw prints but have a look at these sausage dog stickers so they're just sausage dogs because it's one of my favorite dog breeds and i don't know where all this this, this artwork came from uh, it, a lot of it looks kind of like clip art to be fair and i've got a hundred of them Again, they're vinyl stickers, so I can stick them anywhere and not be bothered about it because I find that the um, the paper stickers just aren't aren't as good, really. And you can put them on your bags and stuff and know that they'll be waterproof. How well they'll stick? No, I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, it's just lots of sausage dog stickers, and they've got loads of different dog breeds and different stickers for them as well. So. And there's a rather beefy one doing weightlifting there. There's certainly a variety of these. I mean, there's realistic ones, there's cartoon ones, there's muscular ones. One wearing a jumper. A little dapple one. Rather unsure looking one. And you've got a long haired one. And a portrait of a dachshund and it's wearing a dress, like an Edwardian dress. This one's sitting in some shoes, kind of stuck together a bit there. Let's peel that off and hope that it hasn't damaged it. There we go. So yeah, there's there's loads. I'm not going to go through all of them because we'll be here all day. So overall, I'm quite impressed with the stuff. It is what it says that it is on um, Timu. The only thing that I'm not too happy about, obviously, that one thing arrived broken. And it was, it's not badly broken. So if it was completely smashed, then um, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say something. But that's not going to affect how 
it performs and I'm sure that their customer service is, is you know as good as Wish's. I'd like to hope it's as good as Wish's because Wish do go from what I've found from contacting customer service if something arrives and it's not as it seems you know it's not as what is advertised they will refund you your money they don't expect returns no questions asked you know you just have to show photos and have enough evidence that you're not lying which is fair enough and they will sort it out for you so other than that I think that I'm happy with what I've bought from Timo. You take a chance with any of these places, especially the Chinese places, but I find that um, a lot of the stuff that they make in China is quite good quality because, let's face it, most of our stuff comes from China. You're just buying it direct from the warehouse as opposed to going through a shop and paying more for it. So, yeah, if you're interested in Timu, I would say they're trustworthy, you know, and it arrived pretty fast and it's fully trackable as well. So, you know, it worked for me. So that's my review. So if you want to see more review videos, you can click either of the boxes that come up below. Feel free to check on my Etsy and New Monday stores. Um, the links are in the description. I do commissions and other artwork. Or you can buy me a coffee on Ko-fi if you enjoy what I do and find my videos helpful. So that's all for this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silverwolf signing off.